Hey now everybody, it is Drac with a very special unboxing video. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new game from Fantasy Flight Games. It of course is the Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth. This is a board game of adventure and exploration. Uh, it plays one to five players. Take a look at the back. See, it's a tile laying, exploration, miniature, combat, all of the above. This does require a digital app to run. We will be doing a, a separate video on the app. Just so you know, this video right here is only going to uh, be about the unboxing of this mammoth game. This box is huge. Of course, should be no surprise to any uh, fan of any fantasy flight games you know they tend to do big boxes for their games it uh should be jam-packed with stuff so let's see what have we got in the lord of the rings journeys in middle earth that was a fail sorry <laughs> all right we got our uh info sheet card Telling you, uh, stop here. Journeys in Middle Earth is a fully cooperative game in which players travel and battle their way across the lands of Middle Earth. You must use the fully integrated companion app. And we have an ad on the back for the living card game. We have our Fantasy Flight catalog that we always get in all of our games. And we don't need to look at that. Have our Learn to Play book. Take a look at that artwork. That artwork is freaking amazing. Breaking down all the components we have. What the tiles mean. Can't wait to play this actually. I've been waiting for this for so long. Super excited when this was announced. So that is our learn to play. We have our rules reference book with Gandalf and the Balrog on the uh, cover there. So again, that is pretty awesome. Graphics as well, just kind of flip through this. Uh, Fantasy Flight usually does really good with their rule books. So I'm sure that is going to be very, very good. Then of course, we have our tile pieces. Let's go ahead and uh, slice into that so we can get a closer look at some of these tiles. This uh, is kind of similar to the way Descent works uh, from what I've been reading about it. Each of the tiles uh, is going to be numbered, so it's going to tell you what tile that you want to place where. So as you're playing, the app is going to have you Place different tiles. See, they're dual sided tiles. So we got some indoor sections as well. Punch all these out. That's always the fun part. That's the game within the game. It's just punching out your pieces. There's quite a bit of stuff here, it looks like. It's one of those games, too, that... Uh, the tiles are reversible because there is two different maps you're going to use. You have your exploration map and then you have a combat map. And here's your actual board that you're going to be laying stuff on. Once again, you can see those are dual sided as well and that's uh, for that fact that I said. You have your journey and your combat. 
those are just the same. And then, of course, we have what Fantasy Flight is known for. We have our miniatures. We have a lot of minis. So let's, let's take a look at a few of these. The camera's picking up the detail on those. That is amazing looking. That is one thing Fantasy Flight does right. And that is miniatures. They know how to make miniatures. You can get some of the details of those. So those are it's like a bunch of orcs. Hopefully the camera's getting it because those are so pretty detailed. Uh, but as I said, Fantasy Flight, they're known for that. Uh, so you can see we have quite a bag of miniatures there. And now we have our player character minis. Of it, which I'm assuming is supposed to be Bilbo, I would think. Or Frodo, either one. I'm hoping the camera is going to get those. It's hard to hard to get the details on these. These would look amazing painted too. I have seen videos of people that uh, are actually painting these and they look freaking spectacular. I don't have the patience to actually paint these. I would love to, but that is just way more patience than what I have. Dwarf, also known as Gimli. And the last player piece. Yeah, those are amazing looking. I am so psyched to play this. I uh, was excited about this when I got the press release and uh, we posted about it. Been excited ever since. And of course we have our cards. This is a fully card driven game. There are no dice. You're rolling at all in this. This is all card driven. So little mini cards. Uh, it's very similar to how Descent is set up. Basically any of your uh, fantasy polite games. So you're going to be building a deck of cards. And with those cards, that is how you're going to do your actions and you're going to uh, resolve combat and the like. No dice. I was kind of surprised. I figured they were going to go kind of like Descent and uh, go with dice. But no, everything is a card driven and it's done through the app. App will resolve everything for you. 
onto these the graphics on these cards, the artwork. is just crazy. See, that's an item card it looks like. Take a look at the back. One ring in the uh, ISR on, that's kind of nice. I like how they did that. So there's one deck. We have another deck. Lots of cards, lots and lots of cards. You can look for a, a full review of this uh, coming soonish, TM. I'm just gonna have to uh, get several plays of it in. Not sure if I'm gonna play it with my friends uh, or I'm just gonna play it solo. I might actually just run this one solo. Or I might do it both ways, we'll see. It's the beauty of it. You can do it any way you would like. And then we have our character cards. So these are gonna be the uh, characters that you're going to be running through as you're playing the game. It's our friend Gimli, who is a dwarf, of course. Legolas. Elena. She's an elf. We have Bilbo. Gotta have Bilbo. We have Aragorn. Went with the Strider look for Aragorn there. He, of course, is a human. Bravor, who is a human as well. And we're back to Gimli. See the right background and a suggested start for the characters. So that is a quick overview unboxing video of Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth by Fantasy Flight Games. As I said, a complete review uh, will be coming of this. So stay tuned uh, to the site and uh, we'll get a review as soon as I get a couple playthroughs of the brand new Journeys in Middle Earth course from Fantasy Blight Games.